Y'all good? Um, Holton, senior day. Uh, first off, will you be walking and kind of take us through your mindset going into uh, senior day? Um, I haven't quite yet decided yet. Um, a decision's not been made either way, one way or the other. Um, but I do want to give the guys who have been here six, five years, um, those guys there a moment too. Um, I've had plenty of moments at ECU. I mean, me walking or not walking isn't going to be the final decision. Um, I mean, I don't need to walk for any validation of anything um, with, with ECU or with these fans. I mean, I know that they appreciate me and I appreciate them. Um, so this just hasn't been made on that. Um, I just want to keep the main focus the main focus. I don't want to be a distraction in any way on that. So um, just whenever I do make a decision on that, I will. But um, I talked to <clears throat> Coach Houston last night. I'll probably be making a decision before the bowl game um, if I'm going to stay or leave. Um, whether that will be public or not, I'm not positive yet. We haven't really got too much in depth into it. So just really just focusing on Cincinnati right now um, and just focusing on them. We're not we did the press conference, you know, you guys won four in a row. <clears throat> with that, each game becomes more important. And yeah. Now you have a chance to close out the regular season with an eighth win over the first top five yeah. win program history. What does this game mean to you guys as players? It means a lot. Um, it, means, it means a whole lot to us. Um, anytime you can go out there and play in front of a team like that with our fans in the stands in front of Dow in Dowdy um, is huge. Um, they're a really good football team, but we think we are too. Um, we think we can match up with anyone in the country. Um, we definitely got momentum going our way, but they do too. I mean, they're undefeated. They're a great team. So it's got to come out, play well, execute. Um, it'll be a good game. How do you manage the hype, especially with the guys? I mean, not getting too overhyped and, and trying to kind of keep it as a, or a football game and not something bigger than that? Yeah, I think we've had um, we've had our games where we've had hype going into it. Um, obviously, this one's going to be a little bit more because, I mean, they got playoff mm -hmm. um, implications for them. Um, but it's also a huge game for us, like you said. So just, I mean, we're a veteran group. Um, even the guys that are young have played a full season now and have been there before. So um, I don't think we really got to worry about that too much. We're just zoned in on game plan and getting ready for them. You guys have played them a few times now. What can you recall from the, the past go rounds and what you kind of have to do to be effective against them? Yeah, defensive-wise, um, we're going to face a lot of man coverage. Um, they're big in physical up front. They're big on in the secondary as well. They're going to be a, one of the bigger teams we face this year. And then just a lot of man coverage. You know, our receivers are going to have opportunities. They're going to make plays for us. Um, and really, that's just what it's going to come down to. Um, it's just one-on-one -on -one matchups and going to make plays. Those two corners, I mean, they leave Long Island because they're really good. Yep. Uh, but do you kind of relish that challenge as an offense? You kind of have to embrace it, right? Yeah, I do. Um, they'll yeah. be the best defense if we've, we've played this year. Um, we don't know who we're playing in the bowl game yet, but they're definitely in one of the top defenses in the nation. they got guys at every position, at every level um, that will play in the NFL. They're really good players. Um, so, we're like you said, we're cherishing this moment, um, this opportunity for us, and we're just excited for it. Obviously, everybody's talking about Owen's kick, but you guys still had to march the ball down the field. Can you talk yeah. about that last drive a little bit? Yeah, um, we went going into it. I mean, we, we practice two minutes every single week on Thursdays. Um, offense, we've done really well on it during practice just because, um, I mean, we, we were really experienced. I mean, a lot of these guys have played a lot of snaps here before. So um, we've been in multiple two minutes before. And honestly, one of the bigger ones was going into the halftime too. Us scoring there was huge, So, um, which was another two-minute drill. But, yeah, we ran a, a corner post by Snead. I really wasn't supposed to throw it. Um, it was it was three high. I was only supposed to throw it versus quarters, but I mean he. I knew if he got behind that safety, no one was going to catch him. So I um, he made a really good catch, um, and Owen sealed the deal. So, what do you feel like the biggest things are that you have to do offensively to kind of be effective against a team like Cincinnati? Yeah, like I said, just taking advantage of one-on-one matchups. Um, those guys are going to be on an island out wide, and um, I mean just let our players go make plays. Um, we've said it all year that we got some of the best guys in this league, and they got some of the best guys in this league. So it'll be a good matchup. Um, I'm excited to go see the guys work. What, what gives you the most concerns in terms of, like, their blitzing and that sort of thing? Yeah, they're big and physical up front. I mean, they got some dudes up there. I mean, they're huge. I mean, you'll see them. They're big, and their corners are big, too. Um, number one's one of the uh, really long and lanky. He's one of the top BBs in the nation. But um, it'll be a good challenge for us. Um, we're going to be prepared and ready to go. They talked about the implications of this game. Yeah. Does that put the pressure and the onus on them? You guys can just kind of show up and play football? Yeah, we don't have any pressure. Um, I mean, they're undefeated. I don't even know where they're ranked right now. Um, we already – I mean, we aren't going to make the conference championship. We already made the bowl game. So, I mean, we don't have any pressure on us. We just got to go out there, play loose, um, and, and try to make history. 
what has this ride been like for you though, to see the uh, the hard work pay off? You guys have gone through a lot of ups yeah. and downs. I mean, what is this this winning streak, going to a bowl game? Yeah. What does it all mean to you? Um, it means a lot. Um, it's one of the most rewarding things I've ever done in my life, if not the most rewarding thing. And um, there's been a lot of dark nights. Um, this ride, this whole time, coming through what we've came through to, to get where we are. Um, this university, um, these, this team, I mean, they mean so much to me and my family and, and really all the guys on this team. You know, I don't just speak for me, but um, it's just been a blessing to be the quarterback here. Um, I'm thankful for every moment. Um, you know, I haven't, like I said, I haven't made a decision, but if Friday is my last game in Dowdy, I mean, it will be emotional. Um, but I'm just thankful for it all. Um, I'm thankful to be part of the team that changed this thing um, and to be part of this program. And years from now when we come back, and I mean, I'll be back way sooner than years from now, but, you know, when this whole team comes back, um, I mean, it's going to be pretty special. We'll remember this team for a long time. What are the things that kind of go into this decision that you're uh, going to make here? A lot of things. Um, you know, I, like I said, I haven't even really thought about it too much. Um, I've tried not to just to focus on game planning and stuff like that. But um, a lot of things, I mean, health, um, I mean, just opportunity and just stuff like that. So um, I haven't thought too much into it. I'm sure once the Cincy game ends, that's really when I'm going to sit down and, and make a decision um, with my family and my coaches. So um, when that time comes, um, like I said, I don't know when I'll make it public, but um, when I do, um, it's just been a special ride. I'm so thankful for it. Hi, this is Jay Sunhalter, ESPN3 analyst and former Pirate football tight end. And you're listening to the Sports Objective Podcast, the unofficial podcast of the Pirates.